This is project 26 of Hacking with Swift. In this project, we're going to use the accelerometer. So as you tilt your iPad, you'll roll a virtual ball around the screen, hopefully avoiding holes as you go. Along with the accelerometer, you're also going to learn how to load level layouts, how to have fine-grained contact bit masks, and how to write code that executes in the simulator, but not on devices, or the other way around. So you learn new things and make a cool game, and I get to bask in the warmth of knowing that your Swift skills continue to grow. Let's go over to Xcode. Go ahead and choose Create a New Xcode Project. Choose iOS, then Game, then press Next. Call this thing Project 26, then press Next, and Create on your desktop. Now this time, it's another iPad only game. So choose universal and change it to be iPad. But we're going to use even more restrictive orientations than normal. We'll deselect portrait and upside down and landscape left. And the reason for that is we'll be tilting the device in all directions. And it'd be really annoying to have the device rotate because we tip the iPad too far. As always, please do the usual cleaning job, make a new empty sprocket project. That means zapping actions.sks, move to trash, go into game scene SKS, deleting hello world, change the size of this scene to be width 1024, height 768, anchor point we zero zero, bottom left corner, and then in game scene.swift, delete most of the code. So that is import gameplay kit and then everything else apart from the stub of did move to view. All this code down here, leaving just an empty did move to view method. I'll hide this right bar on the right. Now go ahead and download the files for this project from GitHub. They are at github.com slash two straws slash hacking with Swift. I have them already on my desktop. So I'll go down to finder, look for hacking with Swift, find project 26 dash files, this one here. And inside content, we'll see a JPEG, some pings. Uh, I'll set all the pictures, that's these uh, five pings in the JPEG. And I'll add them to my asset catalog, like that. And then I'll drag in level1.txt into my main project below info.plist. That is the project file for our first level. Now in this project, we're going to use the accelerometer, which is not supported in the iOS simulator. To make things easier, we're going to add some code that lets you control the game using touch, using your mouse in a simulator. It's nowhere near as much fun, but at least it means you can test stuff in the simulator. 